All right, all right. This is part twenty-one of Red Dead Two. Let's get it. Uh, I'm greedy and I want more money, so we're gonna we're gonna go do this robbery. Even though I have five thousand dollars. Never have enough money. Oh, we also have an, uh, a hunted anything at a good minute. Oh, trees, trees, trees. Those turkeys are a little too far away. Oh shit! They ain't gonna come back for me, are they? No, you're cool. I can't believe that worked. Yeah, well, we don't got time to celebrate. Come on. So, what's your plan anyway? Plan? It ain't my plan problem. To get caught. Now, shut up. Yep. Yeah, it ain't my problem. I don't give a damn. Wait, can I go this way? I can. Damn, that was really close to home. Nope, there's so, so much stuff going on here. I need to. Jacobites are English lovers, are My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. Then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Live in a van down by the river. Back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. We saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and I'm too undecisive. Take them real easy. Alright. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches, think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? I don't like not being able to see part of the screen. Okay, girl. Alright, let's do this. How far do we gotta go? We're not going up to Emerald Ranch, are we? Back up north to stretch. Not far from the state line. Alright. So Emerald Ranch is pretty far away, I'm pretty sure. What were you doing riding around up there anyway? 
sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. As from the moment I met him, you tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box boy is tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> the fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked down. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. You died once. We got, we got out of there. Got knocked down in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head, but you never really know what you're walking into. All right, that left away. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. Nearly there. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. I don't see shit. Oh, there's a cabin. Outside. This is good. It is. Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. No oh, shit. I did not mean to do that. We got more coming out the woods. Come out with your hands up. Nice and easy. You saw what we did to your pals here. Tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here.
Get out of my way. Get the hell out of here. And don't look back. Loot your dead friends. So, here we are. We got some good stuff. Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? Told you we take him, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Cook this up all by me. Elf, a proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board. I heard him. I'm just having a problem. Find Anthony yet? Don't want. They are welcome, do we? Hey, it's over there. Come. <coughs> hey, this is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right. Don't need to lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. How much? You never know what folks got stashed. 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know if 20 bucks was worth it, to be honest. Damn, I may be getting sick. Silver ring, there we go. All right, I'm cleaning your horse. You get too damn dirty, too damn quick. That's enough. I guess I gotta feed you because your freaking shit was going down. Easy, girl. You are a needy horse. What the heck's up here? Might as well check her out. What the devil are you looking at? A freak. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined? How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. You look a you were the woman. bit like a man. I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals, they escaped. And now I'm, I'm buggered. What escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. 
Listen, friend, help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra, roam around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Salt. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Madam. It's bloody Margaret, not Madam. Margaret. Yo, where are you going? I'm not going to go looking for that man's animals, so that's for damn sure. Oh yeah, we got to try to hunt something. I don't know why I did the. I'm just wasting an arrow. Probably need a big bang stick. what that was about. Dude just left. Alright, uh... Why is my horse dying? Come here, bunny. I need some meat. I would love to shoot one of these cows. <clears throat> but I'd get bad on her. And I'm finally starting to get to the good side. I can get a pig. How are they going? You lucky. The hell is that down there? Well, I lost those pigs. See what the great Dutch wants. So 
but I'm pretty sure uh, it's a side mission here where I can rob them and get a gun. I can just buy the damn gun too. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. Excuse me a moment. I gotta run into this wall. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Archibald, how are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, <laughs> yes. We're coming back, right? Because my horse is unhitched. You're not letting me off. On or my horse is hitched. Deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get. You guys know I have no guns. Their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you. There's a chain of command here. There is. Dang straight, there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So... These moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. That damn civil war. They're stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from <coughs> grace. If they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Uh -huh. To mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But God, look at all those cows. I don't know why, I just really want to kill cows. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. More money, more problems. All my problems could be solved with money. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. That sounded very unhumble of me. So I'm happy where I'm at. Does it feel good to be back in life? Serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. My only complaint is this damn housing market needs to crash. Whoa. Hold up. You see that wagon? 
I do, I do. Come here, pony. Thank you for following. Didn't mean to do whatever I just did. I want my guns. It's not letting me drop my guns. I'm stuck. Hey, you should see this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's Have see I? If we've got any identification. Okay, we should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. I promise I'm trying my hardest to get on. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellas in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. They're right again here. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. To drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. Alright, I'm gonna end this part here. If you watched, I appreciate it. I hope you liked it, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Peace.